Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the finale of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we fought our way through the trials of Ganon's Tower through many bosses, both old and new. And here we are at the last climb to Ganon himself. It's been a long run, a long journey, but we're finally at our end. Not even these bad boys are gonna stop us now. Hmm, Dark Knight Captain? What do we do about that? That's exactly what we do about that. Basically, with the light arrows, nothing's going to stop us. No matter how long these stairs are. He's got one more hit on him, then he's done. There you go. Couldn't tell anything even happened. I think maybe we'll fight the last two guards, old-fashioned style. Just to, uh... Remind ourselves what it's what we've gone through. These guys look pretty fancy, actually. All right, go for the cave next. Ooh, actually took that off in one go. Focus on you last. Actually, I just took off the cave there pretty well. Alright, one more. Ooh, you're lucky. Come on. He's trying to get me into the corner so I can't parry around him. Doesn't work if he does a horizontal slice, and then I land behind him. Ooh, he actually reacted pretty well to that. Oh. Let's see if we can't get ourselves the two arrows that we're missing. That we can. And now we have our way in. Do you sleep still? Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans. 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 Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? That the gods sealed Hyrule away? And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands, drifting on this sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Don't you see? All of you. Your gods destroyed you! I have been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes. For the hero. <laughs> Do not betray my expectations.
Enter Puppet... Uh, Puppet Ganon. It's exactly what it sounds like, it's a puppet form of Ganon. Now you can see he's obviously attached by string, so we need to use our trusty boomerang to fix that problem. Although it's going to be hard getting a lock on those strings when he's shooting rocket fists at us. The strings are holding his body up, but we can slice some of those. We can disable different parts of his body, make the fight a little bit easier as it goes on. Unfortunately, it's not working very well. There we go. We got one arm down. That's better than nothing. Let's wait till he tries to go for another swing, then we'll move. And... Get our boomerang out. Try again. There we go. That was a lot more successful. He's got one holding his tail up as well. That's the most important one, because that tail has his weak point. That giant blue ball. Ah. I can't focus. I got keys coming at me. We just need to get that tail. One more, come on. The tail more resilient than the rest of the strings, apparently. Come on. No! When he does this, he's going to get all his strings repaired. Great. This is getting get better. The tail is the most important one, but the others are... It's a big bonus if you can take out both the arms, for sure. There you go, that's much better. And the tail's down as well. Alright, now we want to shoot it with the light arrow. That's not how you do it. Um... It's not working how I want it to work. Can you get tail? No! I don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. Come on. There you go. That's one hit. Classic Zelda boss style demands three. You can use the reflection in the pond to uh, help you find where he is if he's out, out of sight. Which is really nice that you can do that. Uh, you can take out those arms and then go for the tail again and I think those will actually reflect. Get that tail, get that tail. Yes! Okay, let's get around to the back of him. Faster than he What's he doing? He's spinning around trying to get the tail of my line of sight. Keys. There you go, that's two. Now let's get rid of these keys before really cause any more problems. Okay. Here he comes again. Round three. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could get a lucky shot off there. Ah, uh, too close for comfort! Too close for comfort. Take the keys out so I can focus on him. Okay. Much better. Uh, I can't get very many from this angle. He's getting closer and it's making it harder to lock on. There you go. Ah, I ate that. And... <sighs> What's he doing? Spider Puppet Ganon. Fantastic! Your strategy for this is going to use your camera and reflection in the pond to angle or find out where he's going to land, and then ideally you want to get yourself where the ta his tail is. Although it's not really a tail now, it's where his weak point is. I didn't do that very well there because I felt I was too far away. So just there, roll to get yourself out of there faster. And same deal as before. Got to hit it with a light arrow. Times charm, get rid of the keys while you have time, but don't focus on them too much like I am. They'll land on you. Come on. Go faster, faster! Just way too close. Alright, one more. Get rid of the keys while we have a second. I don't have any more time. He's gonna land on me. Come on. Ooh, that was close. He almost tricked me. Alright, that's it, that's it. He's dead. He's not done yet. A snake! This is probably the hardest of his three forms to hit the tail on. Ah, because there's not much you can do. 
All you have to do is hope you don't run out of magic while you're trying to hit them. Uh, are there pots around the perimeter? Fuck, <laughs> doesn't look like it. If you're really hurting, I think you can hookshot up. Ow! You can hookshot up to those and there might be pots up there. Oh, I can't from this angle, he's gonna ram into me again. And he's also dropping off those stupid things. Nothing! Aww, oh, that's not good. Let's see if we get a better angle from here. For it. For it. Yes! That's one. He's got two more on him. He's gonna speed up now. Uh, wow! He's flailing around way too quickly. Uh. Oh, close, but I'm out of magic. Are there any pots anywhere? There are in the other ones. I wanna use those before I have to use my potions. He's coming up on me. I can hear him. Oh, this is gonna hurt if he hits me. Go too far. And go up, up, up. Thankfully, you can hook on to the platform, the wood platforms, and not just the uh, the torch. Wow, look at him flailing around down there. There's no way I'm gonna hit his tail if I'm. Okay. It's close, but not close enough. Damn it. Come on, sit still. You hairy mohawk snake, you. That was close as well, but not close enough. Damn it, I'm out of magic. Ooh. Alright, we don't have much of a choice here. It's time to use a blue potion to get all our magic back. Hopefully I don't screw this up afterwards. Alright, let's... get our boomerang just in case we need that again. Ow! Dick, move! I'm gonna try something really stupid. If you can get... Close enough to hit him in the face with your sword, it'll stun him. I shouldn't be trying this. Ow! No, I should have. Oh, come on. One more is all it takes. Just one more. I hit him in the face with the arrow instead that time. Dang it, he's flailing around. It's not that coming. These stupid things are flying off when too many get on me. They're gonna slow me down. I hit him there? And he's not done? I thought that Oh, I thought that was number three. Get off me. Get a whole bunch of that one. Attack. Okay. And... Ooh, that could have really hurt. Just, come on. Ah. Uh, his hearts. Get him. Okay. Now that we're really hurting on life. Ah, oh, did it. <laughs> yes, surely you are the hero of time, reborn. Your time has come. Come now. Stand before me. <sighs> now we gotta get ourselves up there. Fantastic. That could have been a lot worse though, I feel. I think, in all regards, that went pretty good. I only had to use one potion. Still have Grandma's soup. We can drink some of that for the final battle. Because, you know, he can't go send a, any more puppets after us. He has to fight us himself and he knows it. Link knows it. Zelda looked pretty tired, but I'm sure she knew it. How long is this rope? Holy. Alright, let's move over a little bit so we can climb up. Alright. Um, where is... I'm gonna need my grappling hook here. It's gotta be... There it is. Let's move a little closer. Oh, I gotta get closer than that. There you go. Okay, good. Probably gonna have to do that one more time to get to the top. And find out where Ganondorf took off to. Alright, up we go. Carefully. I hate walking along those. Let's go and restock for free in the center here. 
Alright. Alright, that's all. Where's the next one up? It's... Oh, it's above my head right here. You can always trace Link's eyes. He'll look where you need to go. I should have been doing that. It would have saved me a few seconds there, but oh well. It's probably also pretty late in the LP to be mentioning that. Oh well. Now we're going to need a hookshot. We need a hookshot over to that last platform up there. All the way to the tippy top of Ganon's Tower. Can I just... Yeah. Okay. Don't need to aim right at the target. It's just more of a hint. My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my lands, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. That here, I would again gather the three with the crests. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods. The Triforce. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. Already, the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. Need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Hope! I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule.
This is foolishness. A future for you. What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane! Nevita, I'm sorry. I overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. Back to our ocean. Very well, then. Allow me to show you. Your future. Yes. Allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Ganondorf was so close to defeat, he made one tiny mistake. I'll use this bow to cover you. Attack him in as best you can. I actually took our bow, so it's kind of two on one here. Ganondorf is kind of comparable to, ow, a Dark Knight, but a lot faster. And a lot more defensive, too. We should probably try to focus on hitting him with parry attacks. Oh. Or distracting him just enough for her to, for, for Zelda to hit him with a light arrow. Then we'll hit him with a Master Sword. Ooh, that kick is a nasty one. Alright, let's hit him as hard as we can. That was a pretty impressive dodge. Come on. He's got some pretty fancy combos he can throw at us, so you gotta be careful there. He didn't like that. Hit him! Hit him, Zelda! Ow, oh, that was me! Ugh, I gotta watch the friendly fire there. Ow, damn! This is carving away at my health pretty quick here. There you go. Uh-oh. What are you doing? What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, now it's just us. Must have some sort of sense of honor to him to not just cut her down. Even if she is... Well, she was unarmed, so... Speaks a lot about the man. And his foot that keeps kicking me in the face. That could've been dangerous. Ganondorf's strategy is to pretty much just fling you into as many combos as he possibly can. Which is a lot, and if you're not careful, he will never stop comboing you. I can't seem to get hit in on him! Guard is too good! Just cutting right through me. I... Nothing I do is working. I'm not making any progress here. Come on. Nope, that's not how you do it. There you go, feel that. Okay, we got some good hits in the, on him there. Finally. Ah. Uh, I wonder if I can... Nope, not at all. That was way too close. Let's try again. Come on. Oh, come on. Ow! There you go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Come on, Zelda. Wake up! Need the light arrow! I can't get through him. There we go. That's right. Now you're outnumbered again. Ooh, that was a good dodge. I thought she had him there. Ooh! Wow! That was impressive! See, I can't, No, I can't get through him again. Holy crap, man! Jeez! He's got incredible reflexes. And a very scary demeanor about him, that's for sure. Holy crap! Uh. I should go for another parry attack. Oh, oh my god. I don't know how he managed to stop that one midair. Ow. Come on. Is that the best he got? Oh, apparently. Avida, you have to distract him. Are you ready? 
I'll aim for you, and you use your shield. Do you get it? Oh yeah, I do. But before we go any further, it's time for Grandma's soup. Okay, I'm ready now. She's going to sh shoot at me, just like she did, deflect the arrow off my shield, and then I'll deflect that at him. If his reflexes can handle that, I will be impressed. That's a good angle. There you go. Ah! Come on. Just a little bit more. Come on. I hit him! Navida! My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, it was the same as Ganondorf. But you... I want you... to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward Walk a path of hope, trusting that it will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please, forgive us. Wait! You could... you could come with us. Yes, of course. We have a ship. We could find it. We will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... Ah, uh, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. scattered the seeds of the future. Kamali. The pirate ship? And look, Tetra's back to how she used to be. Not Zelta anymore.
There's a rill. Look at that, they gave her a new dress and everything. Well... There you have it. I almost shed manly tears, but not quite. That was Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Uh, full 100%, I'm proud to say. Um, I don't really know what to say else other than that. Um, it's been a... It was fun. It was really fun, and I'm going to miss it. I miss it every time I finish playing it. For the... Since the day I bought the game, what, probably 10 years ago? To... Right now, I'm still going to miss it again. And I will still come back and play it again in the future. It is definitely my favorite Legend of Zelda game of all time. And I don't think anything could ever change that. And I don't know what it is about this, uh this credit sequence here, but it it's really well done. It's simple, but it's really well done. And I really, really like it. I I just I can't put my finger on it. It just it shows everybody, even the ones that you only ever saw once or twice. It kinda just reminds you about it all. Yeah, Miss Marie, Naruto, the Great Deku Tree, Kamali. Yeah. There's the chieftain of the Rito tribe back there. A <laughs> link with his sneaking face. Yeah, I'm sad to see it go again. But I I'll just have to get over it. Uh I'm sure most people are probably only watching this far into the credit sequence. Either because they really like the sound of my voice, which is kinda weird. Or they're waiting on the news of some sort of the next Let's Play. Um, another Let's Play after this one. I haven't really given it enough thought yet, but I don't think there will be much delay between this one's ending and the next Let's Play starting. So, there's no fear on having to wait a long time for the next one to come along. Uh, by now, Pikmin 2 will be probably six or seven episodes in, uh, maybe not that far. So hopefully people will be enjoying that one. I might... that game's a lot longer than its predecessor, so it'll probably take over the main schedule and I'll switch to a shorter game for where Pikmin used to be in the schedule and there will be an update on that for you guys to look at. Um, I might do something really different for my next Let's Play. I've... I... Don't, I think I might stray away a little bit from the uh, childhood games, seeing as I've done like four of them lately. I might go for... Maybe go for a more popular game that more people would have heard of. Because I kind of tend to go for the ones that are really out there. Or haven't really gotten enough popularity. Although as a small channel that I am, I'm not making too much of a difference, but... Whoever watches this... Now, now they feel like they've played the game too, and they get to experience how amazing this game is. It was unfairly judged for its art style. A lot of people didn't like it; said it was too cartoony. I don't, I don't know what their problem is because I, I love it. I love everything about this game. So, yeah, as I said, there will be hopefully something very different, but from what I've done before but it will still be 
anticipated and enjoyed and I don't really know what else to say I I love this the credits music I shouldn't have talked through it all but just everything about this game is just too damn beautiful If you've never played this game on your own, I I really do suggest that you do so. You find it from a friend or a used, just used or anything, just experiencing this game on your own is it's an unbelievable experience. Alright, manly tears were shed. I love you all. Bye-bye.